The almond butter that I show here is not the almond butter that I recommend, but it was my first intro into almond butter. And the reason why I don't recommend this one was because I wasn't paying it. I was paying attention to labels, but I was rushing when I was picking these items up. And this is one of the items I picked up and it had evaporated cane sugar. And I don't really want cane sugar in my ingredients, but since I had bought it and I wasn't going to return it, it was like, let me go ahead and consume it. And so it's fine. It just, it added sugars that I didn't want added. And the palm oil is kind of okay, but that's all right. But later on, I had an opportunity to rectify um, this, this error by uh, getting um, another canister of the almond butter that was more to my liking. But as you see, I, I used it up. And this is actually going to feature in another video that I will put out where I create like a peanut sauce, right? But that's for the future. Uh, right now, the th important thing to know is that this almond butter is absolutely wonderful stuff in my opinion. This is what I was looking for. No sugar, no salt added, just straight up almond butter. I think what caught me when I was rushing is I saw the crunchy uh, texture on the other one. And I was like, oh yeah, okay. But I should have... Uh, Slow down a little bit. It is non-GMO product cert uh, verified, certified. And so that's always a plus, right? And if you look at the ingredients, dry roasted almonds and palm oil. Now, there is a version that's where it says dry roasted almonds and almond oil. Um, and that may be just a different brand that I saw. I looked at these almond uh, butters for probably five minutes before I made a decision. But I decided to go with this one for some reason, and um, it it had it, it looked more pure to me. And so I decided to go this route, and I haven't had any uh, negative side effects uh, consuming it. In fact, I've had benefits. I've had benefits that I could actually feel uh, consuming this. So how do I consume the almond butter? I basically put it on crackers, right? So. So there are crackers that you can get that have no um, extraneous ingredients to them, right? And so, yeah, um, and I haven't even broken a seal on this yet. So, yeah, let's see what this looks like. So it's just your, your typical butter, right? It looks like peanut butter. Uh, there's a difference between peanut butter and other types of butters. And typically, peanut butter... Even if it says it's you know organic or whatever, there's some pro there's some processing involved in it, and the type of uh, greater peanuts that you have there, maybe something you'll want to watch watch for. But um, I've learned recently that not all um, nuts are the same in terms of people's res biological and physiological response to them. And almond, if you uh, treat it properly, is actually going to be one of the better ones. Now this cracker. Uh, comes from a company called Wasa, W-S-A, W-A-S-A, yeah, W-A-S-A. And they make different varieties. I don't like all the varieties, but this sourdough version um, is one that I found acceptable after checking it out. And so it's also non-GMO. And um, here I'm just going to dip it. I mean, I'm the only one that eats this almond butter, so it's like, okay, I'll dip it in there. But I typically uh, uh, spoon it out. When I first am breaking in almond butter, I don't like to stir it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I just go at it naturally like this. But after after a while, it gets back to uh, the consistency of the, um, I'm going to call it peanut butter for the for the purposes of, uh, of this discussion. But typically with peanut butter, it's like, you know, um, it has a, a, a certain consistency to it that doesn't spread so easily if it's not super creamy. So here... This is actually uh, lunch, right? Because during a busy day, it was like, or, or a morning where it was like, things were a little bit more accelerated, um, but the time just wasn't abundant. Um, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and go this route and make um, what you might call peanut butter crackers. So I got some sprouted, I got some broccoli sprouts, and then I got um, some pink salt and olive oil, and red cabbage, and a little bit of uh, uh, green cabbage. I put them all together, and I'm just gonna make a 
uh, I don't even know what you even call this. I put it on top of some aluminum foil, but this just seemed like a natural little uh, meal to make, right? Because it has uh, proteins, it has uh, vegetable nutrients, it has uh, your, your natural trace minerals through salts, through the salt uh, selection here, and you got the benefit of this uh, particular olive oil. So now it's time to uh, consume this and see how this came together. And like I said, I had it all in foil and I'm actually struggling to get this open while I'm holding the camera as well, but that's fine. But I took some of the extra vegetables and I also uh, put those in some spices, right? Some turmeric and curry powder and oil and salt and uh, that kind of okay. And then these are the crackers themselves. And um, yeah, there they are in all their glory. Um, and uh, one thing I've learned since this uh, preparation is that I actually prefer uh, the crackers to be a little moistened. And so what I um, will do, what I do in the future from here is I actually put a little liquid on them, right? It could be apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar goes really good with these crackers, by the way. So I'm just saying. But apple cider vinegar, uh, even a little bit of coconut water, right? A little bit of coconut water. Actually, the coconut water is going to feature in a future video where I show how you can take these crackers and this almond butter and take it to the next level. But let me not spoil that. But yeah, this is uh, this was actually uh, pretty good. Um, the only thing I would have done different, and this is just you know what each individual got to watch for, is I put just a touch too much salt on here, but it was okay. So you just got to watch that salt because um, you know it's easy to overdo it with the salt, right? And this is not one of those things where um, you know uh, you, you can salt it after the fact. I mean, maybe you can, but um, I just wanted to uh, salt it up front, and so um, I leaned more towards a little more salt than a little less salt. But actually, this would have been fine with no salt at all, to be quite frank with you. Right? But I like the overall combination of the ingredients here, the texture with the crackers. It was different than what I normally do, and it digested quite well. And then one side effect that I saw here, oh, it's pistachios. Yeah, I got some pistachios in there um, with, with, these, uh, with this vegetable mix. So it's very tasty. But anyway, so uh, what I found is that these particular crackers add a bit of fiber in a way that helps with digestion and helps with uh, you know other aspects of cleansing uh, food out of your system after you've gotten the nutrients from them, right? And so the taste of this vegetable mix is absolutely phenomenal. It's It came together very well. And these are not uh, cooked vegetables. These are not cooked vegetables, they're raw. So this is essentially a raw vegan meal with some grains added in, as well as nuts in the hard nut form, but also the um, creamy nut form, right? So you got both types, right? So when we're talking about you should consume nuts and seeds, um, where we're talking about the almond butter, some might call it peanut butter, and you got the pistachios, you have that aspect of it, but you also have your vegetables, and then you have your grains, right? And I let some of the oil from the earlier uh, cracker um, drip on that center cracker on purpose because I just wanted to try to get some kind of absorption on that one. Um, like I say, I prefer um, you know uh, cracker grains like this to um, have a little bit more moisture content to them. They, to me, they're much more enjoyable that way. Um, and so, anyway, uh, and, these, and the combination of pistachios with the vegetables was absolutely delightful. So, that's pretty much my take on all of this. And this is uh, how it all came out. And as I got to the uh, second and third uh, uh, cracker, uh, what do you call that? It, I don't even know what you call this whole meal, right? It's some kind of sandwich, I would say, maybe. But anyway... 
um, it it all came together uh, pretty well. So, what what we, what will we call this? Almond cracker vegetables, right? Doesn't quite have that ring to it, but that gets at what what it is. And so, and then I wrap this up with grapefruit. Ever since I broke that thirty day fast, I haven't had fruit. Ever since I broke that thirty day fast, I hadn't had fruit until about two or three days prior to this, where I had a fruit smoothie for the first time in a month and a half, and then I had a um, I had some pineapples, and then I noticed that my body responded very well to that. So then I went ahead and just got some grapefruit, organic red grapefruit, pink grapefruit. And I noticed that my body responded extremely well to that and that my body really likes organic pink grapefruit. So I hope you liked this video. And if you have any comments, let me know. And I will catch you on the other side. Thank you.